The main feature of the new steel frame will be added strength for those vestibule end areas. When finished, just as the original, such framing will be completely hidden by the vehicle's interior. To achieve its aims, the project will need to draw on a host of experienced personnel, from draftsmen to engineers, and whilst the concept is Nick's, it is the input of others and their skills that will hopefully return Pegasus to the main line. That team is led by Nigel Wolford of EMC. Nick's passion for this project is really the driving force behind it. And he approached us maybe 12 months ago after he'd seen some work that we did for another client. He asked us if we'd review the project for him and see what the possibilities were of getting this vehicle back on to mainline service. The problem is that being a timber frame vehicle and the regulations being as they are, that precludes it automatically from, from going on mainline service. Our view was that we could make some changes to the vehicle, fairly significant changes, which would enable it to gain registration again. In essence, what we intend to do is to take the existing wooden structure, remove it, and replace it with a stronger steel structure, which is more compliant to group standards as they are today. We're not going to achieve group standards 100%, I'm sure, but the nature of the operation of this vehicle and its proposed use really is going to dictate how we tackle the project. I think it's fair to say that the rail industry acknowledge and recognise that there's not any vehicle on the network that meets group standards 100%. If there are, they're very few. And to that end, they're prepared to look at things which almost comply and take a sympathetic view depending on how they're going to be used.